Well, the day we left Slipia, my mother took me to see my grandmother. And she was dying, <clears throat> dying of typhus. Now, typhus is not typhoid. Two different things. With typhoid, you can possibly survive, but typhus is a fatal disease. I didn't touch her, and we left. We all got on a wagon, <clears throat> and my grandfather loved me so much, he followed me for at least a mile behind the wagon. I'm quite sure he shed a lot of tears. And from then on, we went to Kilts. When we arrived in Kilts, it was nighttime, and I saw a light <coughs> dangling from a wire. And I said to my mother, what is this, in Yiddish? She didn't know. Who ever saw electricity before? And of course, from, uh, from Kills, we went to uh, Warsaw, I think by train. This was our passport picture. For, to go into Canada, we had to have a passport picture. And in those days, they took the whole family. <laughs> in Jewish, the boys were wearing yibitzes, which are dress coats like. I was wearing a white shirt and uh, a yarmulke. They borrowed this white shirt. They borrowed the, my coat that I was wearing, and they borrowed a watch that they put across my abdomen. That's a sign of wealth, I guess. Everything was borrowed. I didn't have a thing to wear. My mother, she's holding my hand, so I shouldn't run away, I guess. <laughs> 